Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day today. I just had to build a little tiny fire just for a little bit to get my coffee going and get the chicks warmed up. Uh, they did great overnight. I'll be showing you them a little bit later. Um, but I did want to show you a development about the chickens outside. Darn it. I just filmed this whole thing with the chickens coming out of the van because I wanted to show you that Mama and... Patsy and one of the Easter Eggers went up into the van coop last night, and that's where they roosted. Three others of the um, Easter Eggers went back into their pen, but they they just went up there willingly. So tonight, I'm going to close this off before, you know, dusk, and hopefully they'll all go back in there. If at least two of the Easter Eggers are still wanting to go back in their old pen, I will... Um, I'll let them stay in there, but if only one goes back, then I'll grab her and put her in the van coop. Uh -oh! Good morning, Romeo. Look at that. Splash and Raven. Right there. Splash, Raven. That's beauty. Roxy's over there making a mess of the feed dish. Coco, Miss Pris. And Patsy, I wouldn't be surprised if she's going up to that little nesting box on the porch. She's got almost all of her feathers back. She's doing really good. There's the beautiful chickens. Yeah, I did raise that up a little bit because it was too close to the ground. They are, for eight weeks, they're pretty big chickens. I guess these uh, black and blue copper morans, they get pretty big. So... I don't know if they're going to make it a whole week in here, but they're doing really good. I'm having to clean the coop out a couple times a day just to make sure that it doesn't get too nasty in here. But they're just doing really super good. And if you listen to them, they've got such sweet little chirps. So, yeah, still uh, thinking about a name. We've had some really good suggestions so far. Haven't made up my mind yet, but they're eating and drinking. I got a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there. And they're pecking around. I may go get them some, mm, some sunflower seeds. I got to put some grit in here, too. See this spot right here? It's on this tea cart here that my mom gave me. The wood-burning stove is over there. Uh, I think this gets some sun in here, and it stays sunny in this little portion for quite a bit of the day. So this might be a good place to... Just start a couple things of seeds. Not yet though, not quite yet, but I think it's an option. Well, that's the egg haul for today. There's nine in there, and they were all laid in the van. Even the white one, even the green one. So that's pretty cool. Hello, beautiful babies. Look at, oh, look at Mama. Her back is almost completely healed. She's doing great. And look at Patsy getting all fluffed up. <laughs> She's getting big, oh my goodness. Beautiful chickens. All right, I need to see if there's any hens in here. Oh, splash. Come on, girlfriend, you gotta get out. I gotta close this one down. Oh, I know what'll get them out. Black oil sunflower seeds. They love these. Oh, here we go, chickens. Did splash come out yet? Yep, she did. <laughs> she must have done it, done it while I was looking for the seeds. I'm going to close this one down. And give them some more seeds. I absolutely love this treat. I'll give them a few more handfuls. And I'll give some to the gentleman too. And I'm going to give them a little bit of corn too. Because it's going to drop down tonight. And I want them to stay warm. I gotta save some for the fellas. Just a little bit, just enough so each of them can get a little bit. Here you go, guys. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Rocky Doo. They love, love, love corn. Sorry, didn't mean to assault you. Whoops, I don't even think you can see. I'm not doing very good filming today, am I? Now I gotta go move some water around because it's supposed to rain and I need to fill up a couple more tanks and uh, bring a little bit more inside the tiny house. 
bring some in for the chickens so their water won't be frozen tomorrow. But most of the day my phone was like dead. I put it on charge so I didn't get to film anything. But I cut up some wood and I just cut little pieces so I just used the bow saw. Um, and I did some dishes. <laughs> and what else did I do? I'm starting to get these little things ready. Uh, the puppies had dug... <laughs> dug everything out of it basically so I don't know if anything's gonna come back so I just put some more soil in it but there's a couple spots I think like here and maybe here and then I think either there or there that there are some wild I don't know I think they're daffodils bulbs and I know they're gonna come back because I've already seen them kind of poking up from the ground I've just covered everything up Um, hopefully Hopefully the peppermint will come back. Oh, where's that other peppermint at? Huh. Here it is. It was off in the distance, so I'm just going to put it there. It'll help hold this little thing up. So, um, I'm hoping that some of the herbs will come back. Um, I already know the thyme is starting to come back. That's right there. That's thyme as well. Um, it was either here or here. There's peppermint and oregano. I know they're both going to come back. Um, <laughs> I think peppermint is in there. I hope it comes back. But as far as anything else, I don't know. And these are the big, those big lilies that grow back every year. So this is the beginning. Hopefully the puppies won't get in here and totally mess it up. See? See, look at that. Little time. Little bit of time. Look at what they did to my pallet garden. <laughs> well, I knew that was going to happen eventually anyhow, but they did get in there and dig. I think what I'm going to do is, is just put a piece of wood. It doesn't have to necessarily cover the entirety of the underneath part, but just put it up underneath to help support the, the soil up and screw it in um, and make it so it'll drain. Because I knew these screens were going to give out after a while, so, but the bottom one's okay. See all these twigs? Yeah, those just have mushrooms growing on them. This is the beautyberry bin, and this is what's left of the beautyberry. This, this, the puppies got over here one day and just chewed the heck out of all of this when I wasn't watching. So I'm hoping it will come back. I really pray because it did really, really well this year. So it's got quite a bit left on it. Um, they just got the long part, so I'm going to say a prayer that it comes back. Ooh, Papa has been sternly reprimanding the boys today. I've had to yell at Papa a couple times because he's just been really, I don't know, moody. You boys are being okay though. Just don't chase the chickens. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. Anytime I go out into my yard, I always try and bring back a, a handful of kindling wood. Is there any wood? Wood here on it? Yep. <laughs> there is, but it's too small. I'm going to go ahead and break these up and Put him in the fire. Great. Rocky got out. Let's see if I can get him back in without too much of a scuffle. He already tried to kind of tangle. Oh, he's going that way. Oh, my goodness. No, I can't get him. I, I, I can't get him. He's just going into the thick part of the woods. And I'm not going to keep chasing him. So if he comes home tonight, he comes home. If he doesn't, I got something. <laughs> If he doesn't, he doesn't. And I've had tr trouble filming all day long. The camera keeps shutting off, so... <sighs> well, I just hope if he comes home and he and uh, Romeo get in a fight, at least I'll be able to hear him. So, uh, yeah, enough, enough of this for today. A little bit frustrating, but I did get some stuff done. Well, as you can see, it's dark, and I did finally get him into the coop. I had to keep calling out to him, and... It was awful. I was worried he was going to get eaten by a raccoon. And yes, again, I was cursing. I called him names. I called my rooster bad names. Oh, oh Mary, you got to pray for me that, that, I, that I soften my words. <laughs> Anyhow, this rooster stressed me out so bad. And the puppies kept chasing him. And oh my gosh, but he's back up in the coop. So... Now that is actually all I've got for you today. <laughs> See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.